Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host Jason Turner. I'm available for code reviews, contracting, and on-site training. In this episode, I am going to discuss a feature added in C++ 20 called Is Constant Evaluated? And now this gives us a way of determining at compile time through a code flow branch if something is being evaluated at compile time or not. And I will explain what the usefulness of this is and I'll demonstrate how it can be used. Now this is being a C++ 20 feature, something that is definitely still in the works. Not all compilers support it. I am on GCC trunk here with uh, the C++ 2A standard set and using Compiler Explorer as usual because this is, well, a very handy way of demonstrating these things. So I'm going to make a simple const expr function, and I'm going to have it return an integer, and this is just going to be a just very, very simple function here. So this function can just return a value. Like this. And I'm going to turn on some optimization here, just so that we can more clearly see what it's doing. And we can see that this value 5 is being returned. Now we can throw in here this is constant evaluated. Which is going to look something like this. Now of course this is a library thing not a built in to the language. So I have to include the proper header to be able to use this utility which is the type traits header. Now, this is fair, we're getting a warning here saying that to control reaches the end of a non-void function. We need to put in something else in this other branch. So, we are getting the value 10 returned from main. And that is because we have not done anything to actually say we want this function f to be evaluated at compile time. So if I do this, and then return this value, now we should see that 5 is being returned. And this is pretty straightforward. If we get rid of this const expr, we should see 10 being returned. Now, less obvious perhaps is that by making this const, I am returning the value 5. I don't have to put const expr here, and that's because an integral constant that is calling a const expr function becomes a core constant expression, and this is something that is done at compile time, guaranteed by the standard, but that is a topic for a different day, perhaps. The fact is, if you want it to be done at compile time, your best bet is just to make it const expert. So I made it const expert, and I'm getting the value 5 back. Now, the first thing that you might be thinking, having looked at this, is, wait, shouldn't this be using if const expert here? Like this. And what you might notice is you're going to get the value 5 returned in either case. And that's because this thing, if const expr, you are forcing this to be done at compile time. So you're asking this function at compile time, where you run at compile time, because I asked you to be run at compile time, so you had to be done at compile time, so it's going to always return 5. So we don't want that. We want it to, quote, be a runtime check, but this is the kind of thing that's going to be done at compile time, and the compiler is going to optimize for that. Now, just out of curiosity, can we take this back to 0 and see this call? We can, in fact, see this call to is constant evaluated. So that might rely a little bit on the optimizer removing the unused branch, but it's going to do that at any optimization level. So that is the core of is constant evaluated. Now the question might be, why? Why do you want this is constant evaluated thing? And it's going to come down to something like this. Like if we're writing our own tangent function and we've got some angle that's being passed in, and we're saying, well, if it is constant evaluated, then here we might do the slow thing that something like this and over here
as just an example. So if it's being constant evaluated, we can't do things like inline assembly. We can't do dynamic memory allocation at the moment. It's entirely possible that both of those things could change in the future. But this is the idea, is, is we want to perhaps be able to do two different things, maybe a less efficient version of an algorithm, or maybe a more efficient version of an algorithm, or something that takes into account the fact that we're actually executing at compile time. Now, of course, this isn't compiling because it didn't pass a value in here, but that's beside the point for this example. So that is is constant evaluated coming in C++20, and it gives us a mechanism for determining if this code branch is currently being executed in a compile time context or not. And this will definitely have usefulness for those of us who like to do as many things as possible at compile time as we can. So thank you for watching this episode of C++ Weekly. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe.